Hi, it's Ed from The Wide Boys. Gonna give you the five key steps to success in the music industry. Honesty and friendliness, very important to be honest in this day and age. Having a good reputation within the industry is going to cement you to be working with lots of different people. The industry is small, so word is going to travel quickly if you're a rip-off merchant, if you do dodgy dealings, you're not going to be in the big game for long. Friendliness, it's important to be friendly. People want to deal with friendly people. People don't want to deal with arses and people just being rude constantly. So if, you go, if you're a DJ, for instance, you go to a gig, don't be rude, be polite to the promoters. They're more likely to invite you back. Accounting. From the off, it's worth thinking about, if you're charging money for what you're doing, thinking about the way you're gonna deal with your accounts. Keep some receipts, keep some a record of the activities that you're buying, spending, invoicing for, because later on down the line, you don't wanna see the tax man coming to ask you for money so that you haven't then got and you've spent. In the past, we've seen people have done well in the music industry, lose their houses, cars, and basically disrupt their whole life because they didn't keep their accounts properly. So keep it running smoothly. Listen to criticism. You can get eaten up by taking criticism to heart sometimes and not trying to do something about it. So it's worth taking on board criticisms and looking and reflecting on what you could do to improve your product, okay? There are going to be some just random criticisms which are, aren't really based on anything, but there will be ones from friends and other people in the industry that can actually help you improve your business. So take that on board, don't take it to heart, otherwise you're going to be spending a lot of your time angry or confused. <laughs> Problem solver, not maker. Very important to try and look at solving problems rather than making problems. It sounds obvious, but it's not. If you're a problem solver, companies will come to you when they've got problems they need to be solved. For instance, if you've got a project that comes in quickly, they need it turned around by the weekend, you're gonna be the solver. You're gonna put them extra hours in to try and make it happen. If you're a problem maker and always coming up with problems about contracts and this, that and the other, then you're gonna quite quickly find stumbling blocks people aren't going to want to deal with you as quickly as if you can solve things for them. Play the long game. The fast buck isn't always the easiest buck. Sometimes it's better to look at the long-term development of what you're doing. So, for instance, if someone offers you an advance, um, it might seem like quite a lot of money at the time, you might sign away a lot. It might be better to have a smaller advance and a better percentage of royalties for instance so over a long period of time you'll actually gain more than a quick cash injection injection that will be spent very quickly over a long period of time you'll certainly earn more and probably as well be careful about the contracts that you're signing into look for the long term always <laughs>